We are wearing red today in hopes of saving a life. Today is National Go Red for Women Day, and this day is dedicated to spreading the word about heart disease in women and how to prevent it. Tonight, the story of one woman who had a heart transplant one year ago and who will now run in her first full marathon. Upper back nice and tight, pressing up and down. Squeezing you good. wouldn't always find a pair of dumbbells in Erin Coelho's hands. Last two. Before this Jacksonville veterinarian, wife and mother of two. Nice big step back in the out towards that pinky toe. It's become a necessity. Good, perfect. I started feeling sick in 2015. I was finishing up school and I was stressed. I was on clinical rotations and I thought for a long time I had walking pneumonia. After experiencing severe chest congestion, breathing complications and sleeping issues, she went to the emergency room and was diagnosed with congestive heart failure at the age of 29. That it couldn't figure out where it came from, just that it showed up all of a sudden. Erin was put on a heart transplant list, and that was a wake-up call to improve her health. She joined Training for Warriors oh, Julington it. Creek in St. John's County. I made this huge change. Adam Lake very politely bullied me into like changing my diet and coming to class and doing all these things, and I got off the list. You're going to be doing this all on your own soon. What? But last year, she suddenly got really sick. And that's when I went to the hospital and they said, you're not leaving without a heart. Erin stayed in the hospital for several weeks waiting on a donor. My first thought was, <laughs> am I ever going to see my kids? You know, I thought for sure they would give me some medication. I would be fine. I would go home. But when they said, you're not actually leaving, you can't wait at home. You have to wait in the hospital. I thought, what? <laughs> Is this real life? After 30 days, she was able to receive a heart transplant. I feel like a new person. And to celebrate her recovery, she's running the Donna Marathon on Sunday, all 26.2 miles, and her coach, Adam Woodmansey, is joining her. I thought it'd be a 5K, a 10K, something like that. I was like, you know what? I'll do it with you. I'm not a huge runner, but I said, might as well kind of join hands here and kind of jump in with you. Erin is thankful for the support and grateful for the gift of life. It's just so motivating to continue on this journey with other people who are with you. And I know they're going to do a great job. They're going to finish it. More than 60 million women in the United States are living with some form of heart disease, and it's the leading cause of death for women in the United States. So how can you reduce your risk of heart disease? Well, according to the CDC, get at least 150 minutes of exercise each week. Quit smoking, make healthy food choices, limit your alcohol, and manage your stress levels.